Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Just gonna dive into Bitcoin once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big little coins kid crew. So right now, you know, Bitcoin at the end of the month here, February, it really is sitting on a knife edge, isn't it? It's sitting on the the edge of a cliff here. You know, is it gonna like nosedive off into the sea here, or is it just gonna hold support and stand back up and walk back up the hill? Do you know what I mean? But right here for bitcoin it's really important that we get the close above this weekly tw uh, the monthly 20 ema sorry at 37395 okay it's currently trading at 38326 uh, whilst i'm making a video and what would be really nice here is to get this candle to turn green and it would become a bit of an indecisive candle uh, which is obviously indecisive which is what the market is at the moment which is actually good because it is it's sort of leveling out it's consolidation basically you know right here we need to see the close above 38491 for this candle to go green, basically, okay, and, and prevent this four monthly red candle downtrend. But what's quite positive here for Bitcoin is this wick. You see this wick low, it's actually a higher low on the wick than the previous month. So it's actually a bit of strength there for Bitcoin that potentially, if we can see the monthly close above this, this could be your correction over. And this is where you could start to see the retracement over the next couple of months for Bitcoin retracing to this high. And like I said to you, this is a thing that gives the game away if we can get this retracement to start to come up and attack that high okay again if we start to roll and retest these lows that's negative market structure because you need to come up impulsively retrace to a normal level of support and then continue with a trend attacking them highs basically in, in an impulsive wave do you understand that so it's really important just there you know we're not necessarily in a bear market yet we're coming back to support to correct okay and we're still holding this monthly 20 ema we've closed up the gap here because this gap was really really big and these emas are really overextended so in actual fact the emas right now are beginning to look quite healthy so you can see how this look some kind of plane that's took off and it's come back down to the runway and the runway is now flattening out like that do you see that so this is like primed for takeoff this is what we're looking for this prime for takeoff okay look at that so we're getting a flattening in the emas there is still a bit of a, a large gap there to be honest with you i do like to see these gaps tightened up so you know like i said to you if you do start to close below 20 do anticipate you coming down to the 55 okay but have we got it yet no you know can it happen of course it can we can lose this 20 whether or not it's this month we come down you know have a bit of sell-off for the remainder of the day and close below that would be really really negative you're already getting your, your tick there your statement that you're in a bear market and you come in down to this 55 eventually even if you do start to rally up uh, dead cap bounce retracement and then roll my target would be this 55 ema at bare minimal because this is where bitcoin always goes to okay for support always historically whenever you lost a 20 you go down to 55 it's the same on any time frame not just a monthly you know it, it occurs on the 15 minute the one hour the the five minute whatever you see yourself lose a 20 you do come down to the 55 for support you hold that you're consolidating you're attacking the highs again if you start to lose the 55 okay which is something that bitcoin's never really done is come under the 55 and start hitting it constantly as resistance that's a huge huge downtrend on the monthly time frame which will be extremely negative here for bitcoin okay and it could spell a, a, a sort of multi-year bear market just there for bitcoin but is it doing it yet no it's not we're hanging on here we're sitting on the edge of the cliff waiting to sort of stand back up and walk back up the hill aren't we or the, the plane's gearing up for takeoff essentially because you're flatlining on the the most important ema here which is a 20 ema look how flat that is right now so for the next couple of months this is sort of regulated itself and becoming to starting to look a little bit more healthier okay for continuation so right now what we do need to see for bitcoin which would be good equally to prevent these four red candles is a close above this key level of resistance as well which currently sits at 38491 so if bitcoin can actually close the week uh, the month sorry above 38491 we see a bit of a pickup today for bitcoin that could be an amazing little signal there you know we're actually sort of bottomed out here and we're looking to come back up and retrace so if we can see a nice little green candle today that would be quite positive for bitcoin okay uh, and that would start that you know the sort of march back up the hill basically to re-attack these highs and get this retracement on the go which we've not had we've not had any kind of retracement here for bitcoin we've just been coming down coming down coming down coming down we've not really come back up and attacked the highs yet have we you know one thing we have done though here for bitcoin which i do like to be honest with you is we've broken out this downtrend just there okay and i've shown you this before we've got this downtrend you know coming down coming down coming down and we've broken out and what we've done we've fallen back to it as support look at the wick just there so that's technically quite a bullish statement from bitcoin so this is your downtrend 
train coming down okay run into resistance you've broken out got back above dmas a little bit too over bullish came back down a retracement and you're still holding the lows from which you came so this is actually quite bullish from bitcoin and you can see like i said to you what you're doing here is something that you've done here you've ran into the 20 okay you're coming back for support and then you've got the big big breakout okay so right now you're sort of mirroring that fractal basically you know you, you've ran up here you ran into the resistance of the 20 and you're coming back to support well, where was your support your support was this pattern that you've broken out of okay this broadening descending pattern let me show you uh which tradable so in a minute you've broken out of it like that you came up you ran into resistance and you're coming back and you found support on this previous level of resistance now back to support so on the daily if we take another look you know you, you ran into 20 came back for support ran into the 20 come back for support in a higher low structure and right now you might be on the cusp of some kind of explosive breakout coming back up to these highs so march could actually be really explosive here for bitcoin again no guarantees no crystal ball but you know this is a high low structure right now if you start to hold this and start to come back up you know really that resistance again and then you're coming back down you've got some kind of triple bottom pattern here and some kind of huge huge ascending triangle and big big ascending triangle pattern like that you're coiling up inside of in the month of march and you start to come back up and hold them back to some breakout boom you, you've got your reversal here and you're looking for this retracement in the month of march coming back up to them highs to retest as resistance and like i said to you that that point there you know it's really important because if bitcoin starts to come back down rolls and retest some lows that's negative market structure you've not got any kind of retracement structure yet to give a game away to me that you're looking at you know a bear market now obviously we've got our indicators that we keep an eye on that can give us a precursor to the warning that we are in a bear market but for me at the moment like i've said to you you know what you're doing here for bitcoin is coming back to support you've not lost the support yet you've got the high low structure the high high structure you've come up you've broken out you're coming back you're holding support if you roll over yeah if you roll over you, you're in a bear market you lose these lows you're in a bear market you're coming down to the 55 but you're not doing it yet are you okay so that's basically bitcoin hope you enjoyed that little update let's have a look see if there's any trade here uh, at the minute you know you ran into the four hourly 20 as well so that's your resistance and this is your support right now and you can see what you're doing here this is your low this is your point of contact let me get that knob on for you just there okay that's your point of contact and what you're doing you're retracing at the moment you're retracing you bounce off the 050 fib which is a nice little level mm -hmm. to be honest with you so you've come up impulsively and you're retracing to this low right now okay you lose that low you're going to go down and that's your minimal target 31069 okay that's your minimal target that you'll be in but you can see if you do do that you're losing that low and that's a big reversal wave in itself do you understand that which gives you a technical target around about 27k i think and that could be leading to that capitulation event but you, you're retracing at the moment you know you're looking relatively healthy you've got this high low structure right now there's a low there's a higher low and right now if you start to retrace okay you've bounced off a 050 fib you might start to come down a little again uh, a little again again and grab some liquidity off a golden ratio at 36516 if you do start to see it run into that resistance and roll again that could be a nice little area to put some bids in with a stop loss always use stop losses because at that point you could start to come back up and re-attack these levels of resistance just there okay that key level of resistance up there that i do think that once you get out of you've got that huge huge ascending triangle pattern with a huge bullish breakout to the upside okay for bitcoin so that's basically bitcoin hope you enjoyed the update i hope you can understand what i'm on about okay but it's all supporting resistance take care everyone back soon with an update on bitcoin watch for the monthly close today bye bye